Hello, great people, you are welcome to the delicious kitchen. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all, guys. We are cooking a gunsi today, the easiest way of making a gunsi. Check the link above there, you can find the frying method. This one is not a frying method, this is the easiest one, and you will love the results, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Remember to like as well. So my people, those are the ingredients we'll be using today. That is my well-washed assorted meat. I have cow legs there. I have a uh, skin there with the which they call pomo. I have beef. I have shaki. Oh my, hey, holy shit, she is there. And that's the stock fish I'll be using today. For the written recipe, please check my description box. My stock fish has been washed and soaked. That is low-cost beans. Iru my palm oil that's the palm oil i'll be using and of course salt now here is very important that is my chopped onion and the ingredients i'll be using for boiling of the meat yeah that is oregano garlic powder i have curry thyme and that is maggi for boiling and cooking the egg goosey so this is also for boiling of the meat i'll be using onions garlic cloves and ginger you just need to peel the ginger peel the onions and the glue and the garlic wash them and blend them together that is what you're gonna have when you blend everything together i'll be using paprika i'll be using onion and scotch bonnet pepper to make it spicy blend everything together this is what you will have when you blend them together now that is the melon seed i'll be using the main ingredient a goosey that is crayfish i'm going to know i'm going to rinse them now add some water into it blend everything together and that is what you will have when you blend them together so my people i'll be adding spinach as well spinach is it spinach i will call it spinach here so guys i'll be adding that of course chop it just cut it small small piece into small small pieces okay so guys remember to subscribe if you haven't let's get it started now that's our well washed assorted meat pour it into the pot you'll be using Add that our blended onion garlic and ginger into it and those ingredients of course add them into it my my people oh we want to grab this a goosey add some salt into it as well and of course, Maggi Cube. You guys know I love Maggi Cube. It brings out the yummy taste <laughs> in that food you're cooking. So I've added Maggi now. Now it's time to mix everything together. You can mix it with your hand because it is not hot at the stage. I just they do a Yibo system, my people. Just mix everything together. Now cover without adding water and boil for 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, open it. You can see the meat is boiling itself with its own juice and this ingredients are ah, more. You're going to love this system. Try it. You will like it. So mix together and add some water. Not too much. We need the meat stock for our egg see so cook till soft now get your palm oil pour it in the pot we'll be using add that to your blended onion paprika and scotch bonnet pepper we blended at the beginning so add it into the oil stir together turn on your cooker now <laughs> now cover and cook for seven to ten minutes okay so after that open and stir had the stock meat that is stock meat because the boil the meat is now done that's the stock meat you know i didn't have much water and i love that stock meat i want it just like that in this egg -gussi. i don't want the egg -gussi to be watery okay that's why now had the stock fish the stock fish has been washed and soaked you know for just around three hours in uh in hot water let me call it all warm water sorry now had maggie cube into is remember we have we have maggi cube salt as well in that uh, meat stock now had some salt not too much salt to, to your taste okay remember stock meat uh, the meat stock is there and uh, 
locust beans is also coming now cover and cook for 10 minutes let everything now cook together so while that one is cooking get that your blended melon and crayfish be blended add that chopped onion into it okay don't let your egg be watery let it be like this just like a paste like this you know now mix everything together like this so now it's time to open the sauce we've been cooking for the past uh, 17 minutes now it is done and the water is not much i want that way now get your melon mixture your goosey mixture now this is where the secret lies you have to take your time to be doing this now just be adding it little by little this small small portion like this like you are making a cara. just be putting it small small like that into that sauce at this stage turn down your cooker okay cook it under low heat under low heat and take your time to be doing this ha huh. you are going to love this result oh my people i want to know where you are watching me from this egunzi we are cooking it right now in germany let me know which country you're watching me from let me see it there okay let's be friends remember to subscribe like and share now cover and cook for 10 to 15 minutes under low heat okay so after that get uh, open the pots and go down the pot just like this don't mix everything together now we don't want it to get burnt that's why i just tear the down of the pot okay now cover and cook for another 10 minutes okay after 10 minutes open your pot hmm Homo, this egusi is talking now. This egusi is already talking. We ain't done yet, okay? <laughs> Don't mind me. I love food. Now get your low-cost beans. I've had some water to eat, okay? I want if it contains salt, the uh, sand, it will go down, down the the, the egusi. Now add it into it and remain some at the down of your bowl. Throw that one away, okay? So it's super like this. Now get your boiled meat that's our assorted meats were boiled at the beginning ah um, this meat it has reduced you can see if i have tasted from meat though that's why they are not complete anymore so now add your meat into the egusi and stir together hmm this egusi is talking egusi is talking it's talking mix together so at this stage it's now to cover it again we have to boil the goosey and the meat together for around five minutes okay so now open it again oh um, this goosey is talking get your spinach that our spinach that we cut now it's time to add into the egg goosey you can leave your egg goosey like this plain if you don't want to add uh, vegetable to it but i love this look and the yummy look and the yummy taste it gives when you add some vegetable into it yes now mix together Egusi is almost done. Are you preparing your fufu now? You can rock this with fufu when it is done with a ba, with amala, ah, omo, hey, or with rice. Me, I love egusi. Oh, this party yummy looking egusi. You're gonna love it. Just try it. Check the comment section. I will pin the frying method there for you. You're going to love that too. Now cover and cook for just three minutes. Don't overcook your vegetable. Tra la la, guys. Our egusi is ready. Remember to give me a thumb up subscribe share thank you so much for watching god bless you stay safe stay healthy may god richly bless us all this year love you all